Welcome to Accounting 100. My name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona. The purpose of this short video is to provide you with a quick overview on how to navigate this course in Canvas. Our institution is moving from Blackboard over to Canvas, so all of your online courses will be delivered in this new online management system, as well as any on-campus courses that uses Canvas to provide you with supplemental material. In this case, this class will be delivered to you completely online. There is no requirement for you to show up to campus to complete any of the assignments that will be incorporated into this course. This is what the home page looks like. It begins with a brief um, overview of what will be due or the expectations for the first week of class. Please note in red that I will be recording your attendance for the first day of instruction and I will be doing that by asking you to submit an email to me by 11.59 on the first day of school. This is Monday, January 30th, 2017. What you need to do is go into your inbox here and select to send an email to your instructor and send me just a quick one sentence email stating that you are sending this message to me to record your attendance for Accounting G100. Please note that there are also assignments that are due by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, February 8th, 2017. This gives you a little bit over a week for you to complete all of the assignments that I will go over in a, in a minute. And that will be the norm for this, this uh, course. All the assignments will be due on Wednesday, each Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. The first assignment that is going to be due is to complete the course orientation module. It's asking you to click on the hyperlink and to begin with the link named Welcome to Accounting G100. And notice that there's other assignments within this module. So the link is here. You will click on that and it will take you to several pages within this module. I suggest that you do not skip any of the pages and you go and review this module in chronological order as presented. So it's asking you to start here where it says Welcome to Accounting G100. If you click on that, it'll take you to the first page of this uh, module. Once you read what's there, you will click Next to go on to the next page, and so on and so forth. So in order to view all the pages, you could click on this um, uh, button here, or you can go back to the home page and click on Course orienta Orientation Module once again. The module will consist on the following pages. It's Welcome to Accounting 100. It will cover Canvas guides for those of you that are new to Canvas and are usually used to Blackboard, for example. It's going to cover student readiness tutorials, computer technology requirement, communication, course expectations, participation and drop policy, discussion and etiquette and tips, quizzes and exams, resources and software, college support links. And then it will end with two assignments for this module only. You will need to complete for 10 points the guidelines for success and then the student introductions. And going in with the student introductions, this is what it will look like for you. It's asking you to complete a posting and you have to answer these four components into your posting. I need your name, the program of study here at Golden West College, and the reason for taking this course, this could be for majoring in accounting, maybe you're a business owner and want to learn the basic accounting principles for you to run your business and keep track of your expenses. Or you may be taking this for an associate degree requirement, or maybe you're just taking it for lifelong learning. What is your reason? State that in your posting and then something interesting about you. Please note that you have to not only post your posting but also answer to at least two of your classmates responses so you need to go 
see the threads that other students have been posting and you need to reply to at least two of them. And the way that you do that is by click, clicking reply here and you start posting uh, your information and then you click next. You can go back to the home page by clicking here. Once you finish the course orientation module, it's asking you to read the syllabus. You can click here and you'll see a link here as a PDF file. And this is what it looks like. So I will take a little bit of time to explain to you what the expectations are for this course. Again, my name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona. My email address is listed here as well as my phone number for my direct line at the office on campus as well as a phone number that receives only text messages. This course is 60007 for spring 2017 and it's delivered completely online. Again, you, you will not be required to be on campus to complete any of the assignments for this course, they will all be completed through this online management system known as Canvas. My office is in Administration 121, and that is actually the building where the Answer Center is located. So if you go into the Answer Center, you will see a glass wall. I am My office is right behind the glass wall if you need to go see me there. My office hours are by appointment only, and that's the reason because we have this online. I can't, I cannot have specific um, office hours because I want to be uh, cognizant of your schedule and be accommodating to your schedule. Um, so that will depend when you can see me on campus, or you could schedule an appointment to connect online. So. What is the course syllabus? The course syllabus is your key to success. It, this is a document that I use to provide you with an overview of the college course. So use the syllabus as a time management tool and also as a resource. Uh, this is Accounting G100. <clears throat> and all lectures, assignments, and exams will be available in Canvas, which is this online management system. And this is a beginning course in practical accounting as applied to merchandising firms, professional individuals, and to personal service operations. So you as a student will become familiar with practical accounting procedures by completing weekly assignments. And they will be based on the lectures and the textbook readings. And you will also have some problems that will be used, uh, may use some um, computer applications like Excel and um, also, you may be able to compute them better with using a calculator, it's up to you. Here are the student learning objectives. So at the end of the course, you should be able to utilize basic accounting principles and practices, including journals, ledgers, worksheets, and financial statements. And you should be able to demonstrate knowledge of accounting methods commonly employed in a personal service enterprise, retail business, or professional office. And you should be able to develop valuable accounting tools for the workplace, as well as a foundation for further study in accounting. The textbook that is required is stated here is College Accounting, a con contemporary approach. And you need to make sure that you purchase the Connect Plus uh, access code. This is the author and the ISBN number. I believe I have a link here to what the textbook looks like. This is from the college bookstore. This is what the textbook looks like. I believe they have it in loose leaf. So you will not actually get a binded textbook, but they are sheets that are hole punched and ready to go for you to add to a binder. And it comes with Connect Plus. This is what that means. And I'll show you what Connect Plus means in a little bit. Uh, you will also need an, expense, an inexpensive calculator, no fancy calculator here. You could even use your, your cell phone calculator. Um, and that is to just make basic um, arithmetic calculations to complete the assignments. My office hours, those are, again, hours that are uh, uh, set aside for you. My job is to help you understand all the concepts of this course. So 
I'm available to meet with you in person or through an online um, method. Uh, I could answer any questions regarding the material covered in the course or to provide you with some supplemental instruction uh, in order to reinforce the concepts that you may be having a little trouble with understanding. So again, it's by appointment only, so please contact me to schedule an appointment. You can meet me in Administration Building 121 if you are local to the campus, or if you are far away, you can connect with me via FaceTime, Skype, Google Hangout, whatever your method, uh, your preferred method is, just let me know. The grading will consist of the following assignments. You will be graded on attendance and active participation. We will have reading assignments, homework assignments. We will have a project, a midterm, and a final exam, which is comprehensive. Please note that late assignments will receive a reduction of 10% per day after the due date. So make sure that if you need extra time, that you complete them in a... Um, reasonable time frame otherwise you will not earn any points for those assignments this is the grade scale anything above 90% is an A anything above 80% is a B 70% is a, a C anything above 60 is a D and below 59% is an F so what do I mean by attendance and active participation what I mean is that I need you to be an active uh, learner. So I need you to participate by reading all of the materials. You will be earning points for reading the materials. You will be earning points for completing all the activities within Canvas and by completing all the course assignments by the due dates. So if you do all that, you sure have your full attendance and active participation points. We will be reading we will be having reading assignments and they are assigned each week via Connect Plus. It's not reading the assignment on your loose leaf sheets on your own and that's it. No, it's not. You need to read the assignment that is provided to you within Canvas that's going to take you to Connect Plus. It's through a program known as Learn, Learn Smart and it's going to ask you to complete some questions at the end of your reading assignment in order to test your comprehension of, on the material. So make sure that you not only read it, but you answer the questions to, to earn those points. Homework will be completed online as well in Connect Plus. So you will be uh, able to access that assignment in Canvas and we'll take you to the questions and they will either have a drop down menu for you to choose an answer. It may be multiple choice or it may have fields for you to fill in um, answers based on calculations that you complete um, doing basic arithmetic. So please follow the homework schedule. We will be covering one chapter per week. Late assignments again will receive a reduction of 10% per day after the due date. So make sure that you complete it. As, uh, preferably before the deadline so you can receive your full points. There will be an accounting project worth 20% of your grade and you may work independently or in groups, no more than four students per group, and the project will be towards the end of the semester so I will give you more information as the time approaches. Uh, you will be given a grade if you work as a group as an entire group, which means that each member will receive the same grade within their group regardless of individual member contributions. And the purpose of this assignment is for you to practice to work together. You will be learning concepts around business accounting, so it takes a group of team members to run a business, so you need to learn to work in a group setting and help each other succeed overall as a team. We will have a midterm exam, and it will be administered in the middle of the course, and it will consist of multiple choice and problem questions. Again, it will be through Con Connect Plus, so uh, you will be able to click uh, for drop-down menus or multiple choice questions or fill-in answers based on calculations.
and the final exam will be comprehensive, which means it will cover all of the chapters throughout the course, uh, which is 13 chapters. So this exam will consist of, again, multiple choice and problem questions. If you feel like you will need extra assistance throughout the course, of course you have me to uh, access help from, and also there is a Student Success Center Center that offers a variety of student resources such as tutoring, test taking techniques, note taking, and they have access to a computer, the internet, and software. And that's located in the Learning Resource Center 129, which is our new library. Now, if you need a computer throughout the semester, please note that we have a Chromebook loan program. And you can go to any of these programs if you are an active student in one of the programs. You, if you're an athlete, if you're in CalWORKs, if you're a DSPS student, an EOPS student, a Puente student, or um, are in the STEM field and have access to the STEM center, or you are a veteran, please visit those areas so you can learn more about the Chromebook loan program and the loan period. And if you're not part of this pro uh, of these programs, we also have the Chromebooks available in the Learning Resource Center, and they are checked out um, in a similar fashion to a textbook on reserves. So uh, visit the LRC for more details. I will not give extra credit uh, in this class. However, if you feel like you are falling behind schedule and um, you need help catching up, I will work with you individually to help you succeed in the course. So please contact me and so we can talk about your circumstances and consider all of your options. Please, please keep this in mind that dropping this course should be your last option. I've told this to my previous students, if you give the time to take this course and read all the materials and complete all of the assignments, you will be successful in this course. The pattern has been for those that have completed faithfully the class, uh, all the assignments and given it the um, best effort and time, have passed my course. And those that have not passed is because they end up giving up in the middle of the semester or they don't take the final, which reminds me to tell you that you need to take the final in order to pass my class. Just because you are passing the class and you feel like you don't need to take the final, that it will be a big mistake. You will not pass the class unless you complete the final. So remember that my goal is for you to be successful in this course. So dropping this course should be your last option. So I would like you to give me the opportunity to meet with you and discuss all of your options if you're thinking of dropping the course, okay? But if uh, you end up needing to drop the course for whatever reason after we discuss it, then make sure that you keep track of these dates here. And then I'm also asking you to take a moment to review the institutional policies that we have here on, ca on campus, which is the Academic Honesty Policy, the Student Code of Conduct, and the College Harassment and Discrimination Policy. And that's it for the syllabus. So let's go back to the course. Go back to home. So you've completed the course orientation module and the syllabus. You will need to update your Canvas profile. So click on that. This is what my profile looks like. And I would like you to make sure you have something similar. I want your picture. And I want you to place a little biography so um, I know something more about you. So let's go back to the course. So once you do the Canvas profile, you need to update your notification preferences. And that will be up to you what those preferences will be. Many will like to have notifications uh, in terms of any activity that happens on a daily basis or maybe on a weekly basis. It's up to you. 
or maybe time maybe every time I post something you'll get a notification you could do a te uh, notification option such as text messaging or an email whatever works for you this is for you to make sure that you keep up with the course with what's going on you have to uh, purchase your textbook again if you um, think that perhaps you cannot buy the textbook this week but maybe next week you do have an option to sign up for a 14-day trial to complete your assignments while you purchase your textbook so there should not be any ex any excuse why you cannot complete the assignments for the first week of class because you do have that option of accessing the materials in, in Connect Plus for 14 days before they ask you for the for the code that is given to you when you purchase it. And then you have to complete module one and it says it's located on the course content below. This is the course content and each module will correspond to each week of the course. We have 16 weeks in this semester so we will be covering one chapter per, per week as well as incorporate the midterm the project and the final within these modules. So what you need to do for this week, which is due on Wednesday, February 8th by 11.59 p.m. is complete module one. So what you will do is click on module one and it will take you to these pages here. Remember, these are all pages. You can start here with a task list and it'll give you an overview of what is expected for this week. So it's asking you to complete the following tasks by this deadline, which is read chapter one, view the lecture for chapter one, and complete the homework for chapter one. And then you can click next to see what's next. Here is where it will take you to uh, connect plus to complete your assignments. This is what it looks like for me. I am the instructor. However, for you, you will have a different page that will ask you for a code. That code is what you get when you purchase a textbook. If you don't have that code yet, it'll give you an option to click for a 14-day trial. So you will have the option to do that at that point. You click on that option and sign up, and you will be able to access the homework at that point. Okay? Um, so let's go back to the modules. This is another way to go back to the modules. You have a link here on the left hand side. And your modules is here. So we reviewed the task. We reviewed the reading assignment. Notice it's 100 points. So you do have to complete some questions. And then you could go on to the lecture. I usually record a lecture on a weekly basis. And it's in YouTube, so I provide you with the link as well as with the PowerPoint slides that are used for that particular lecture for your convenience. Okay, then you click Next, and it will take you to your homework, which will also take you to Connect Plus. And again, if you're not signed up for it, it will ask you to enter a code, or it will ask you to sign up for a 14-day trial. You, for chapter one, you have 15 questions worth 150 points each, and they're all multiple choice for this chapter, since it covers principles and accounting for small businesses. Okay, so let's go back to your homepage. And that is all for chapter, for, for week one. If you try to go to module two, it will tell you that it's not available. I will not open the modules all at the same time and the reason I do that is because I want us all to work on all the assignments together I don't want you to be ahead of anyone else the reason for that being is because when I've done that before people are at different points in the course and I'm getting multiple questions regarding different sections and it just gets too overwhelming um, on my end I have more than 45 students in this class so imagine the time consuming um, that it takes for me to be answering questions at different points in the semester so in order to control that 
we will be opening up one module at a time. Every time that you submit for the deadline, I will open up a new module. This is me and my introduction again here. So you can read a little bit about myself. And that is pretty much it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. And good luck to you.